You know, one thing I'd like to pick up on at this point is, do you think there's enough money in the pot for Scotland to be independent? It's a very costly country to run. With the ambitions of the Yes campaign, is there enough money to, to start an independent Scotland? Can Scotland be independent to a fashion? Of course it can. You know, if, uh, if, if Cyprus can do that, Scotland uh, can, can, can do that. But the question is, what sort of Scotland will it be? And the ambitions written in the, in the white paper, the Scottish Government's white paper, are, are really unaffordable. Uh, they make ludicrously uh, positive assumptions on the price of oil, which is completely beyond Alex Salmon's uh, uh, control. They make assumptions on the geographic split of oil, the most favourable scenario conceivable. And they're now talking about repudiating the debt, and, which I think would be a very, very dangerous and very serious thing for a new country to do. Uh, you know, even under those very positive assumptions that we have just outlined, the harsh reality is, with that oil settlement, Scotland would have 53 billion in tax receipts, assuming none of the financial services sector and other sectors left the country. Let's assume that was the case. And they're spending 65 billion. And that 65 billion is rising, and it's rising because of an aging population, and of the cost of health care, education, welfare, all those things. It's very difficult to cut. And I think within pretty short measure, Scotland would be forced to either raise taxes very substantially or cut spending or probably both. Let's talk about oil for just a second because it seems to be, uh, well, it, it is classed sometimes as the, the jewel in the crown, um, but the reality is are, are quite different according to the white paper. Uh, listen, do you want to have oil? It's a good thing to have. Of course it is. It's a good thing to have. But uh, let's, let's be frank. The, to get the oil out of the North Sea, it's hostile territory. It's deep water. It costs in the high £20 a barrel to get out against 2 or $3 uh, in, in Saudi Arabia. So it's an expensive field. Point two, uh, which I think is quite important, is that oil is, is declining. It's not just Warbrick Economics saying that. It, it is almost every commentator is, is of the view that the majority of the reserves have been taken, the easiest to get reserves have gone, and production has fallen from about 4 million barrels a day in 2000 to about one and a half million barrels a day now. Uh, very few people feel, believe, and I'm, I'm certainly my own understanding is that oil uh, production will continue to gently fall from, 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 from this, this level. So it's an expensive field, it's a good asset to have, but it's a declining asset, and it's a highly volatile asset. There is no way that Scotland can have any influence on the international oil price for obvious reasons.